Hello friends and welcome to Brush Tips. Today we are starting a whole new awesome show. We are going to be teaching obviously an awesome painting too like this one back here. So really quickly I just want to give you a quick intro since this is our first show. My name is Sherry and this is Brush Tips very simple right so I apologize we were supposed to start at five o'clock and I have had some crazy difficulties today so that is why this angle on this video is a little bit crazy and it looks like I've eaten a little bit too much cake because we're going from down under okay but if we were at the top it would be a little bit more amazing so once I get all those technical difficulties figured out it'll be super amazing so let me tell you now what we are going to be painting. You see this super cute flower back here. I wanted to pick something super easy um, for our first time because some of you may have never painted on canvas before. So I just want to prep you really nice and easy with a little bit of an abstract flower. So the colors that we're going to be needing for this project is purple, black, orange, red, yellow, and phalo blue. So there's a big difference between phalo blue and like marine blue or aquamarine blue or whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna start this live over here actually. I'm gonna watch this. Black, Whoop. Look at that, see technical difficulties again. I will learn, I will learn, I promise. I promise I'll learn. Okay, friends, so do me one huge favor and hit that share button so that way we can start to share all of these amazing paintings with the world. You're also going to need a cup of water, a blank canvas. If you don't have a blank canvas and you just have some canvas paper or cardboard or just regular paper, maybe you just have some pencils or markers and you just want to try that out today with pencils and markers, you can do that too. Then we have this guy right here. This is our big daddy brush. We love this brush. We use this brush for almost everything that we do, okay? So I want you to take this brush right here and drop it right in your cup of water. Really, really great rules to remember when you're talking about paint and you're talking about water is keep your brush in the water, okay? We don't want our paint to dry on our bristles because then our paint isn't gonna work anymore. Our brushes aren't. So, who's ready? Are you guys ready to get started? Make sure you say, yeah, yes, let's paint. Say, let's paint. All right, here we go. First, we're gonna start with the middle piece, okay? And you're gonna hear this lots and lots from me about my circle trick, all right? So we're gonna take our big daddy brush, get some black paint on there, and start with your circle. So a little trick I learned was Circle, circle, circle. Don't touch your canvas or your paper until you get a good circle going. Or you could go this way too, whichever way is more comfortable. Ew. Look at that. Nice, pretty circle. And I'm just going to lightly fill that in there. I don't care if it's not all the way filled in because I'm going to throw some purple and some white in there, okay? So don't feel like Oh, it's not all the way filled in. Then you can kind of round out the edges a little bit, all right? If you want to fill it in, go ahead. I just have it however, okay? Then we're going to clean off that brush because we do not want any more black paint all over this place, okay? So clean off that brush, clean it off. I forgot my white paint. Of course I did. Of course I did. Because what would a show be without bloopers. <laughs> We're gonna grab that white paint, put it right there in the middle, and some yellow, kind of pull it off to the side here. I like to bring it over to my paint. I know a lot of people just start mixing it in like crazy, but we wanna be able to make different shades with that, all right? So don't feel like you have to mix it all in like crazy, all right? Just mix it in a little bit. Then we're gonna draw the petals flower petals. Super easy. Shoot. And it's okay if you get it in here. We can always cover it up with black. These ones are a little bit more pointed in this. 
and I'm making them right now, but if you need to, swip, swip it up, switch it up, <laughs> and kind of throw that on there like that, okay? Can you see that yellow? We're going to darken that up anyway in a minute. Go this way and go this way. Move your canvas again. And this is all abstract. So this doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So don't think that, here we go, <laughs> here we go. I'm telling you what, here you go. We almost dropped that canvas, for sure. I swear people, I am professional, <laughs> okay? All right. So I'm gonna quickly just, I just, splattered paint all over me. Quickly throw this on there. Just kind of go like this. Oh, don't forget about your sides either, friends. Hit those sides, hit them, hit them, hit them. So that way when we're hanging it up, I'm gonna show you on this right here. When we're hanging it up, see how the sides are all done? All right, so make sure that you do your sides. Sometimes people forget. The other day, somebody told me you're not a true artist if you paint your sides. And I was like, well, then I guess I'm a fake artist because <laughs> I paint my sides. And just keep filling that in. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And fill, fill, fill. Makes pretty flowers. So it is definitely coming to springtime soon, right? March, all of March, April. It's going to be spring. We're halfway done with February. Yay. Valentine's Day is this weekend. We should have done a Valentine's painting like a big giant heart, but you could actually paint this for your Valentine and give it to your Valentine, right? Paint it and give it to your Valentine. Remember, if you have to, move it around. Move it all around here. And I love painting flowers because there's no wrong way to do it. I had some music playing earlier, but I turned it off just because sometimes it gets a little distracting. And then I'll start singing, and then really you guys will be like, oh my gosh, she's an amazing singer. We should have a record deal with her. I'm just kidding, I'm not an amazing singer. <laughs> kidding, 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 kidding. Okay, so you see how some of that in that painting up there is bright neon green, or green yellow? We are going to add some of that bright yellow back into this painting, okay? We just added some white behind it to give it a little bit of a textured color, like uh, different tones. So that's why we did that. I feel like my face is so dark in this. Hmm, oh, like I have a tan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just throw that on there. It doesn't have to be any perfect way. We want it to... We want to be able to see those lighter whites and yellow behind there. Okay. Doot, doot, doot. Yes, and yes, if you make noises while you're painting, it does seem to be a little bit more fun. Now, see where these two petals overlap here? Just outline it, that's all. We, we just need to bring that back out. We'll outline it a little bit. You want that one on the top? Bring that one on the top. We'll outline it with a little orange, okay? And just outline every one of them with a little orange. How about that? And again, just abstract, so we're not going for perfection here. Super easy. You're like, yeah, you say that. It is really, though. So if anyone wants to paint with us in the future, like next week or whatever, make sure you grab some canvas. Make sure you grab some paint. Make sure you grab some brushes.
clean off that brush really good. Like you're washing your hair. So I've been telling people this, like clean off your brush. People get super nervous. And they just put the water in there like this. Shake it like that. We don't need you to shake it like that. We need you to shake it aggressively like this, like Shakira, okay? You're shaking it like Shakira. Rubbing those bristles on the bottom of the cup, getting the paint out of there. Your water's gonna be dirty. You're gonna see the water is dirty, but your paintbrush is not, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna take a little bit of this blue, actually take a little bit of black and bring it over to the blue, okay? If you want, you can get a smaller brush for this, but you don't have to. We're gonna paint this background while this yellow dries, okay? If you have to, you can get a blow dryer and you can blow dry your yellow or you could just come back to it in a little bit. Let's just get some of this black and blue on. I love the black and blue. I used to do it in just black and then I decided that I really love the blue mixed in. So that's what I did. And you can even throw some in here, just a couple little like really lightly. It doesn't have to fill it, you know? It just needs to be light in there. The only dark spots you want are these ones, like this, like here, here, okay? Let's remix. You can remix it over here, all right? Remix. You might need to lift up on your canvas a little bit, and that's okay. Hit that bottom, hit that side. Boom, look at that. Same thing over here, hit this really lightly. We're gonna bring all this back out. We're gonna put the flower back on top of this and you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. Okay, let's hit this, hit this, hit this, boom. Perfect, all right. I can't wait to see everyone's masterpieces. Clean that brush off again really, really good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this black out on top again. So just come back in here and it's okay if you pull some of that yellow. Huh, except I was putting the blue in there, that's funny. The blue black that'll be pretty in there too huh let's try it so we just brought that back out on top doesn't that make a big difference it makes it pop there we go perfect 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 so i'm going to rinse off that brush again really good because we don't want the black in there Dry that brush on your paper towel. You want it to be wet, you just don't want it to be dripping wet. So let's grab, what color should we grab next? Hmm. Let's do a little bit of, I'm gonna mix a little orange with the red and really lightly just boom, 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 boom. See how my paint's wearing off there? Just gonna get some more. Do you see how fast I'm putting this on here? Are you watching this? Look, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit. Let it dry. Oh, I gotta fix that one petal. Hmm, 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 hmm. I hope people will attempt to paint it. Okay, then we're gonna let this dry. This is how I like to let it dry. When I'm in a hurry like this, okay? So just go like this. And say, let it dry, let it dry. I am not claiming I am a good singer. Yes, we will let you know in advance what painting we are going to be doing and what you will need for the painting class or painting show. 
All right, if you need to, go ahead and blow dry it. I am not gonna blow dry it because number one, it's really loud here if I blow dry it, and number two, uh, we don't have time for that. Hmm. Nobody has time for that. No, I'm just kidding, you have time for it, so you can do it. Let's add, let's add some pink, white, Mix with red. Just make some pretty pink here, okay? Look, at, I have like all kinds of movie references and stuff singing to you. It's like entertainment, right? I'm just gonna kind of throw this on there. Wherever. Doesn't have to be great. Again, this is an abstract. That's way too much right there, but that's all right. Perfect, right? Let's, let's friends, let's hit some blues, get some blues. So rinse off that brush really good. You can even mix like a little blue with that purple. That's a pretty shade. And then kind of the same thing, just quick with the brush. You could switch to a smaller brush here. Um, I'll show you all my brushes. I have a million. And now you're like, really? Look, I'm gonna throw this in here just like that. Let's start to bring out this guy a little bit, okay? Let me show you all my millions of brushes. This is just one container of brushes, okay? I have a whole nother container, and then a whole nother container, and a whole nother container, and so many brushes. So, for example, you could use one like this, okay? What is this? So you could use one like this, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's grab this purple. Now, friends, when you're when you're mixing that purple, you gotta stay away from that orange because purple and orange, they love to make mud. Okay? So stay away from that. I'm gonna pull some white over to this purple. See this white, purple? White, purple, pull it over a little bit. And, oh, that's a lot of paint on my brush. Clean that off. Let's, let's throw this on here. <laughs> let's grab a good scoop of white and boom. Boom. Let's kind of go around in a circle. Let's clean this brush off. Let's bring back some yellow. It's like the, the sun is kind of hitting it and reflecting off other flowers in the garden and kind of changing this around a little bit. Look at that. This is amazing, friends. I cannot wait to see your masterpieces. So for anyone who wants to um, share their masterpiece, please, please, please feel free to message me, send it to me, um, you know, whatever you wanna do, however you wanna get it to me. You wanna hire, snail mail person or like a money gram no whatever those not money grams what are they tell us telegrammers singers that's it and you can bring me a picture and they'll sing me a little song show me your amazing art so mm -hmm, I'm trying to see what else we could add I'm gonna grab some white let's grab some white friends this has a little tint of purple but that's all right 
gonna throw a little white in here. If you love a different color, say you love purple or you love um, green or you love peachy colors or coral colors, don't be afraid to add them to this painting. This is your masterpiece. So you get to do whatever you want. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna grab some red. See how that one up there has a lot more red like towards the middle? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab some red here. Just gonna really lightly feather it out. Oops, look, I got it right there. Just gonna just blend it out, blend it out. It's all good. See, I'm kind of doing it like, uh, what is that when you sweep the floor? Just real softly sweep the floor with it. Really, you're just sweeping the flower. Sweep the flower. Sweep, sweep the flower. I probably won't sing as much. I take that back on it always. I always sing. You know what? My whole brain does that. If there's like a situation, I'm coming up with a song or singing a song or... So this one has white dots in the middle. I'm gonna flip my brush over. Cute little magic trick so you get some good circles. And I'm just gonna hit this. And do the same thing here. If you want different colors in there instead of the white, go ahead, add different. You want it all red in there? Grab some red ones. Look at how pretty that is when we add those red ones. I'll move it a little bit closer for you to see it, friends. Are you looking at this? I know it looks like a big giant mess, but it's not, it's an abstract. <laughs> All right, let me rinse off the bottom of my brush. Look at the dog here, and she's like laying over there painting. I don't know what's going on with her. She's been acting kind of funny lately. She's drinking a lot of water. Does that make sense? Does anyone know why my dog drinks a ton of water lately? So I'm going to grab some blue. Look at that. Watch this. Boom, it, it just makes the whole painting pop. Abby, I don't know what's going on with her. Goodness, I hope she's okay. She comes to work with me. We call her the art therapy dog. <laughs> People absolutely love her. Gonna play around in here, make sure you fill all those spots in. Check it out. I'm trying to decide what else it needs. I feel like it needs like a little pop of something. Just a little pop of something. Oh gosh, I hope that's not true. I think it's only been like 48 hours that she's been drinking a lot. I'm not sure why. Let's add a little more orange. Pop it. Remember, stay away from that blue with that orange unless your blue is dry. And then, friends we might be done because I'm kind of loving it and when you start to love it don't touch it all right don't touch it if you're starting to love it don't touch it hit this side over here I'm gonna hit this with some boom 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 make sure my sides are all done so when I hang it up it looks super amazing. All right. 
And then if you're still feeling like you're lost with the flower in the middle part, like maybe you added some extra right here. It's okay. Just bring this guy back out on top, right? Just throw a little bit of black in there and it's going to pull all of it out back on top. Okay. And look at how awesome that looks. One more little tiny thing, friends. One more little tiny thing that all of you need to do after you're done painting, okay? What we are going to do is we are gonna own this piece, all right? So you can either get a Sharpie, but I want you to get a tiny brush. Little, little tiny brush. Look how little that guy is, all right? And we are going to roll it in the white and then own it, own it. Step away from it, take a quick look at your masterpiece and own it just like this. There's my little initial and boom, just like that, you, my friend, have an abstract flower to gift to somebody, to hang up somewhere, or to just enjoy it yourself. All right, friends. So until next week, when we are back, if you have any suggestions on what you wanna see us paint, or who's us, who's us, me and you. If you have any suggestions on what you wanna see us paint, you can just shoot a little comment, send a little message, you know, whatever you're feeling like, and we will talk to you soon. Everybody have an amazing, amazing Valentine's Day. And if you don't have an actual Valentine, that's okay. Get yourself something. Okay, friends? I will see you soon. Bye!